those cheeks. We're gonna do some hip releases. I have this knot in my back and it's like pulling on my ribs and it feels like my ribs are out of place. So I thought I'd come on live and do some releases with you. Grab your mat, grab a space on the floor and let's get to it. So you're gonna cross your legs. You can have them up, whichever way is comfortable for you. If you can't do this, this is fine too. But if you feel a pull on your knees, you're going to flex your feet. Don't point your toes, flex your feet. It puts pressure off of your knee. So we're gonna spread those cheeks and shoulders rolling down and back. Imagine a string coming up through the top of your head, pulling your spine taut so that it's just like pulling it straight. And take a deep inhale, feeling those muscles stretch, chest out. And exhale, release, hinging at the hips. So if you need to round your back, that's fine. But our intention is to hinge at the hips right here because we're getting in those hip flexors. And whichever leg is on top, that's the hip flexor that you're probably gonna feel. And as you go down, you're probably gonna wanna sway because if you just go straight down, you might get caught or stuck. I'm almost 40, so I get stuck sometimes if I don't ease into it. And use your fingers. Use your fingers to pull yourself forward. Hinge, so I'm feeling a pull at my knee, so I'm gonna flex my foot intentionally and drop the head. You can drop the shoulders, elbows on the ground. Make sure those sit bones are on the ground. Stretching forward. Deep inhale into the stretch. Exhale, release a little bit more. And we're gonna go to one side. And chest is going to come through, head is going to come through. Try to place your head in between your biceps, shoulders down and back, chest forward. <laughs> you want to push your chest forward so that you don't get the round in the back. We're feeling the stretch all through the side and in the hip. And we're going to walk our way to the other side. Ooh, I already heard a crack in the back. Ah, uh, head is through the biceps. Now I'm actively pulling my hip down to the ground. As I push my arm up over my head, push my chest out, shoulder blades down and back, head in between the biceps. Deep breath into the stretch, feel the waist stretch. And exhale, release. Slowly go forward. And switch sides. Remember to flex those feet. Sorry if my feet are dirty. I was walking outside barefoot, grounding myself before this. A practice that everyone should do every morning because I totally feel a difference when I do not ground myself first thing. Totally says my day. All right, so we switched feet. Feet are not pointed, toys are, toes are pointed towards the knees. That puts pressure off of the knee. Hinging at the hips, we're pushing the chest forward. Rock if you need to, side to side. Everything's connected, so it's not just one muscle group we're working here. We're working all the muscles that are attached to that hip flexor. Mm, slowly walk yourself down to your elbows if you can. Inhale into the stretch. Exhale, chest forward. Sit bones on the ground. into the stretch and exhale release forward and 
then slowly up. Oh, we forgot to do side to side. Let's stretch the sides. Since it's a different leg, chest out, head between biceps, hip towards the floor, hand towards the opposite wall, and we're gonna roll to the other side. As you inhale, inhale through the stretch. Use the inhale to stretch the muscles. Head between biceps. Chest forward, shoulder blades down and back. Hip reaching for the floor. And back to the middle. Chest forward, use your arms to anchor. Shoulder blades pushing back, chest pushing forward. Tailbone down, pelvis in. Deep inhale, stretch as tall as you can, shoulder blades down and back. Somebody is pulling a string through the top of your head. Make sure that pelvis is, your pelvis is tilted with, okay. So you're not tilted like this. Your pelvis and you're not tilted like this, you're straight. So my spine is straight and my, pel my pelvis. <laughs> I'm not like this. I'm not like this. Shoulder blades down and back, string through the top of the head, pelvis is tilted in, so it opens, you're going to feel an opening in that low back. Let's do it together. <coughs> Excuse me. So kind of wiggle yourself, get neutral, so shoulder blades down and back, string up through the top of the head. Now the pelvis we're going to tilt down, and as we tilt the pelvis down, down as we tilt the pelvis down we're feeling all these vertebrae like they're like little teeth in your back and they're separating and they have muscles in between them and nerves and blood vessels that all come out from your spine so we're separating those vertebrae to get space in there to get oxygen to get circulation to get energy flow we're opening up that low back so pelvis is tilted forward chest is out Inhaling deep and exhale. Inhaling through your diaphragm. We're not inhaling through our ribs. We're inhaling. There's a muscle called your diaphragm right here. And as you inhale, let me think. As you inhale, the diaphragm contracts in. As you exhale, the diaphragm does this. And it makes a negative pressure on your lungs. So when you breathe through the diaphragm, you're pulling the suction downwards. So the lungs are inflating with air. And you wanna get all of those lungs inflated with air because that is where it's at. That's gonna deliver the oxygen. That's gonna stretch the muscles. And the exhale is gonna release it away. All right, let's try pigeon pose. Front leg is bent. Back leg is behind, chest is forward. Squaring the hips, so. Hold on guys. I want you to be able to see. Okay. Okay, so my hips are like this, they're squared. They're not like this either, they're squared. So they're not up here, they're squared. They're not over here, they're squared. Squared down, and as you can see, I'm not all the way down. Go as far as you can. If you need to sit on your foot, that's fine. If you can go outwards more, whatever's comfortable for you. But the purpose is this hip is opening. And we take a deep breath. And as, as this hip opens, we're feeling the right hip push forward, the left hip push down, and not only am I feeling the stretch in this hip, but I'm feeling the opening in this front hip. And breathe into it, shoulder blades down and back, chest out and forward. Expand upwards like somebody's pulling a string through the top of your head, feeling that stretch within both hips. Breathing into the stretch, releasing it away.
Now, if you can, we're gonna go for a bind. Okay, if you can, we're gonna go for a bind. We're gonna pick up the back right leg, hold it. So I'm gonna try to make sure that my hip doesn't fold back when I do this. I'm actively keeping both hips square on the ground. And as I'm feeling the pull in the hamstring, my hips want to twist. They're, they're trying to twist, but I'm actively making them not twist. Actively pushing them into the ground. And as I'm doing that, I don't even need to pull on this foot because as I'm pulling my hips, squaring them to the ground, I can feel the stretch even more in my quad. Ooh, and use the breath. As you inhale, put your chest forward, string up through the top of your head, shoulder blades down and back. Hips square, deepening that stretch. And as I exhale, I feel the muscle release and I gain about two more inches. Let's do it again. Deep inhale, shoulder blades down and back, chest out and forward, hips are square. String through the top of the head, inhale deep into the stretch, ah, and exhale, release. I don't know if you guys saw it, but oh, you can't see my feet. I gained about four inches there in that stretch. Let's do the other side. Come out of it very easily. You might want to rock this way or that because you might get stuck. If you try to hurry up and jump, ooh. Okay, now we're switching legs. You can either sit on your hip, you can on your heel, you can sit wherever's comfortable for you. The important part is that your hips are square to the ground. So not only are you feeling the stretch in your ass and your hip right here, I'm feeling it in my, my anterior hip on the left and I'm feeling it in my posterior hip on the right. So as I square my hips, I'm feeling that pull in the muscle, but I'm not forcing, don't force. Just kind of breathe your way into it. You can rock too, don't forget. Rocking is your friend. Don't forcefully rock, but if you just gently rock side to side, sometimes it loosens up those muscles a little more than you can get it with just stretching. So we're rocking side to side, chest is out, shoulder blades are down into the back pockets, string coming up through the top of that head, Deep inhale into the stretch and exhale, release the tension away. I'm really feeling that stretch in the front hip of my left leg and it feels really good. Now we're gonna reach back for our leg. Are you guys ready? Now as we reach, one side may be worse than the other. This one's pretty Pretty difficult for me. So I'm gonna rock, make sure my hips are square, chest forward, shoulder blades down into the back pockets. And again, I'm not pulling my foot forward, I'm stretching into the formation, the correct form. And by doing that, it's stretching the muscle, just using the breath. So my, my hips are squared. Just as I intentionally square my hips, I'm already feeling a release in my front hip. Squaring, chest out, shoulder pits, string coming up to the top of the head. Inhale into the stretch. Exhale, release. <sighs> Exhale, release. Now gently let go of that leg and rock side to side. Oof. All right, you guys know about frog? Frog is a great one. Okay, so with frog, it's kind of like baby pose. So baby pose, I'm, I'm kind of sitting on my feet. This is a modified baby pose. I like this way better because then I can push my chest to the floor, roll my shoulder blades down and back, and it really opens up that chest for you. But we're working on the hips right now, so we're gonna do frog, it's kind of a little different. We're gonna get in baby pose right here and hinge at the hips. You can come down on your knee, on your elbows. And I'm gonna rock forward and pay attention to my feet, guys. 
I'm up on my knees, my feet are lifted, and I'm rolling the feet out. See my feet? Rolling the feet out. And rock. Elbows down. Now, rock back and forth. You can spread your knees a little bit more if you need to, but the motion of the feet coming outward makes a big difference in the hips. Because if you do this, you're just getting, you're getting the inner thighs. If you rotate the feet, lift the feet up, take them outwards so that they're past your knees, and then sit back into it, you're still getting the inner thighs, but oh my God, it gets so much deeper. And just breathe, maybe rock back and forth. Inhale into the stretch and exhale the tension away. Just rocking a little bit and breathing. Breathing and rocking. Oof. All right, now we're gonna come out of it slowly, lean forward, put the feet back together, and we're gonna push up with the hands. Mm. Okay, that was one I just learned. Oh, it was a good one. Um, I know. Okay, this is a twist. So we're going to put, we're gonna put one leg in front. We're doing the left leg in front, the right leg over the knee. Put those hips down square on the ground. Now, we're gonna modify this. We're not really gonna do the twist, but we're gonna stretch the hip. So make sure that foot is on the ground. Hips are both square on the ground chest is forward and we're going to be squeezing this knee not squeezing but hugging it as close as possible don't do this you want to keep that hip on the ground again don't do this as you squeeze look at my back okay so see how kinked my back is when I do this watch the difference Oh my God, and I just feel the difference. And I'm squeezing the knee. I'm not forcing, I'm just squeezing as much as possible, but really use that breath. Utilize that breath. Okay, so then watch my back. I'm pushing the chest out. Shoulder blades rolling down into the back pocket, string through the top of the head. Utilizing the breath to stretch the muscles and exhale the tension away. Again, as we hug the knee into the chest, we're pushing the, the right sit bone down towards the ground, releasing the left hip, straightening the spine, chest out, shoulder blades down into the back pockets, string through the top of the head, breathe, inhale, feel the stretch in all those muscles, deepen with the breath, and exhale, release the tension. Now for a little twist, we're gonna take the elbow on the knee, grab the hip, chest out. I just have my hand supporting me. Chest out, string through the top of the head. Deep inhale. And exhale, release. every on zoom every Monday through Friday at 6 30 a.m. Central and 8 30 and 9 30 p.m. Central you can check out my website at therapeuticessence.org and sign up for yoga every morning or evening we're doing the other side that the sit bones don't come up like this you see the space in here you want you see that I want my sit bones down. I want my foot flat. And this side is a lot worse. 
But so this is as far as I can get. So I'm just squeezing in my leg. Sit bones on the ground, chest forward. I feel the release in my right hip as my left hip intentionally sets on the ground. Chest out, shoulder blades down and back. Inhale, using the breath to facilitate the stretch. And exhale, release the tension. Exhale, release the tension. Now for the twist, we're gonna take the elbow, set it on that crossed knee, and we're gonna grab the booty. Use it for support. Take our supportive arm and reach back. And this movement, we're gonna keep those sit bones on the ground. We're gonna push the chest forward, string coming up through the top of the head. Make sure the knees are not tense, the hips are relaxed. And chest is out, shoulder blades down the back pockets. And twist. As I'm inhaling, I'm really stretching. Exhaling, releasing. that pretzel okay so now we're gonna release the hips we're gonna do a gentle swaying of the side side by side so place your hips forward sorry place your feet on flat on the ground and support yourself chest out shoulders down and back and we're just gonna go side to side very gentle Using the breath to inhale and stretch the muscles. Exhale, release them. Switch sides. Just on the flat on the ground. And we're just dropping the knees to one side. Shoulder blades down in the back pockets, chest out. Sit bones are both on the ground. Your hip is gonna wanna lift up like this. Don't let it. Sit bones on the ground. Intention is very, very important. You guys want to learn how to stretch? I have a whole course on it. And it's actually, it's free. It's my free course. Um, and I give you instructions on mindfulness and meditating during stretching because, oh my God, like the, the amount of progress that you get when you put your mindfulness into it and intention is just amazing. We learn those wham, bam, thank you, ma'am stretches in school, right? No good. Switch the knees again. This time, take the, the feet farther, farther and switch them. Don't let that sit bone get off the ground. Side to side. Chest out. Okay, our last pose. So, oh, we're gonna get down, lay down on the ground, and we're gonna grab the feet. On the outside, can you guys see me? Grab the feet on the outside, and relax into the floor. Now, we don't stop here. We wanna put our intention into it. So, Pelvis, pelvis, it's not lifted up like this. It's down. See the difference? Up, I'm intentionally putting my pelvis down. It's about two inch difference. And I automatically feel the pull and the stretch of my hips when I do that. But not only am I gonna do that, I'm gonna pull the string up through the top of my head like somebody is pulling out, pulling something taut, pulling a rope taut, there you go. 
Pretend like they have a hold of your spine and they're just pulling it. Someone's pulling it from your tailbone. Somebody else is pulling it from your head. Visualize that space between each vertebrae. Remember, this is where your nerves and blood vessels come out through your spine from your spinal cord. Your brain controls everything and it leads through your spinal cord. So we want that space in our vertebrae. If we have blocked joints, the nerves, the impulses cannot get through. Shoulder blades are down into the back pockets. Chest is forward. I'm very active in this pose. My pelvis is down on the ground. My sacrum is flat against the floor. Spine is flat against the floor. I don't have any pockets in my back. Shoulder blades flat against the floor. Head pulling taut. I'm really feeling the stretch in my hips here. And if you guys then want to move to side to side. the knees string pulling the spine taut up through the head shoulder blades are down and back chest out use the breath to stretch all the muscles and exhale release roll to one side help yourself up don't just go and get up too quick because that causes injuries all right, so how was it? How was it? How, did you guys enjoy? Are, are your hips feeling loose? Do you feel better? I hope so, because I absolutely love to stretch, like mindfully, like I don't like to just boom, because you don't really feel it. You don't get in tune. You need to be inside your body and just feel relief, and then relief will be had. So I hope you enjoyed the stretch. You guys check me out, therapeuticessence.org. I have courses, I have the free mindful meditative stretching course that shows you how to do all this stuff. Um, so check me out and I will see you guys later.